Now, what may have actually led to this devastating landslide? Well, to tell us more on this, I'm being joined now live by a geologist and professor in Nehu, Devesh Walia. Well, first of all, Mr. Walia, thank you so much for giving us your time today and giving a, and a welcome to Northeast Live. My first question to you, Mr. Walia, what could have actually led to this devastating landslide? Yeah, uh, in None district, uh, Manipur, this landslide has come uh, uh, yesterday early morning. So, you know, actually uh, the rocks of Manipur, they are of the tertiary era. So, because of which the rocks are already loose. And recently, lot many, uh, whenever such studies related to landslides are there, None district has been one of the reason, uh, one of the region where such uh, landslides are prominent. And hence it is of importance. Now what happens that if unprecedented rainfall occurs, then these uh, loose material, it gets facilitated because of the water infiltration. And then it is, there are chances of uh, sliding down, they are always there. So the major, major cause, uh, so just to answer your, uh, your question is, that major cause of such landsliding is because of uh, excessive rainfall. Excessive uh, amount of uh, uh, infrastructure development work carrying out in that area, uh, we, uh, because of which both, what happens in both the things, once you are removing uh, from the tow area any material, then the, the load of uh, the hill, it, is, it has to be transferred. So when it doesn't have the tow proper, then it expands and the, the, some cracks develops and through that those cracks when the water infiltrates, the chances of landslides definitely increases. And it is caught at the wrong time. Hence, a lot of uh, landsliding activity in the, in the Manipur None district has taken place. Now, Mr. Walia, could there be tectonic disturbances, you know, due to the heavy construction work that is in progress, Mr. Walia? Yeah, as such, tectonic disturbances are because of internal uh, uh, movements of the earth. But... Manipur area, as you go further east from uh, None district, the bordering area, there is a, there are some important faults are there and that is what is a compressional zone wherein uh, lot many uh, such say Indo, at the Indo-Myanmar border, lot of such faulting, uh, it is prominent. So what happens that it is already tectonically disturbed zone under the compressional uh, setup. So while taking up any of the infrastructural projects like construction of road or railway, we have to consider all such disturbances or all such pre-existing uh, uh, stresses and which may lead to strain or uh, opening up of the, the area. So that's what uh, is normally supposed to have been undertaken and uh, that's how but very recently we saw that there was uh, the tunnel opening there near the tunnel opening some part of the hill it fell down. So such things have been given, they were giving, they were warnings, but the timely action could have saved the lives. Right. Right. So, Mr. Walia, so can we say that this has been triggered or just due to the heavy rainfall or could this actually be an impact of the overall climate change, Mr. Walia? Uh, you uh, see, basically, climate change means leading to the phases of excessive rainfall and uh, and droughts and all that is definitely a big uh, reason to to give rise to these uh, uh, landslides but important thing is that it is not that uh, uh, such landslides uh, prominent landslides they have occurred in the region for the first time there has been there but what happens that when you start constructing at uh, disturbed sites then the magnitude or the vulnerability uh, keeps on increasing so that's what it has occurred that this time it has even taken the the toll also has gone, uh, that's what. But definitely, as you said, that excessive rainfall in a short period of time, what we have noticed that 1000 plus millimeter of rain in 24 hours, it is recorded. So such unprecedented rains are definitely due to uh, some climatic uh, parameters which are changing, uh, especially in these uh, critical regions.